Good morning everybody, it's Tina again from Tina's Talk Time and at long last coming on with my Marks and Spencers haul I thought I'll have to do it soon or um, oh, you'll have to excuse Mabel, I've got Mabel today and she's wandering in and out, you probably see her popping up in the video, <laughs> Betsy's uh, sleeping. Um, so I thought I'd better do the Marks and Spencers haul because I've had them for ages, oh, are you tired darling? That was a big yawn from Mabel. Um, so, um, I'm, it's me, it's just tops. I thought I'd try and do tops, uh, cause somebody asked me if I'd do separates instead of doing dresses. Uh, so, um, I've done tops. I haven't done trousers this time, but maybe I may do later on. Um, so now this one that I'm wearing now is one from a previous haul, but both the, the jeans and the top are from Marks and Spencer's. I've worn this top an awful lot. I do like the colours. So anyway, let's get into the haul. Oh, first of all, I just have to say, did did any of you watch Glastonbury? Oh, wasn't Cat Stevens a I mean, Elton John was good. He was really good. I'm not knocking him, but my favourite's Cat Stevens. Um, oh, do you know, I wished I could have gone. Although I probably got a better view at home on my TV. Oh, I, it was lovely listening to all the old songs, you know. My favourite album of all time is Matthew and Son. I absolutely love that album. I used to play it over and over again. Showing my age. <laughs> I'm actually slightly older than him. I think they said he was only 71. You know, so anyway. Let's get started with the, the haul. Uh, now this one, as I say, I've showed you before. So, But I do like it. It's been so comfortable. I've worn it quite a lot. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the first item. Now, I have to be truthful, I have worn this. Uh, I wore it last week when I went out for dinner uh, for my sister-in-law's 70th, you know, on the Friday. It was her 70th birthday, actually, on the Friday, but she had the party on the Saturday. Uh, and So we went out for dinner on the Friday. Well, sort of tea time-ish. We went about six o'clock uh, so the grandchildren could go. I've probably told you all this. Um, so I did wear this with my white trousers. Um, and it did feel nice and comfortable until I saw a photo of myself in it. <laughs> you know when they take a photo and you're at the end and you think, at the big, you know, the first one when they're taking like a, a group photo where you're all sat with your arms on one another. Never want to be at the beginning because it always makes it look big. Well, I hope that was not made me look bigger <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> lesson learned, don't sit at the front. <laughs> Anyway, um, I thought this would look good with black trousers as well or under a black jacket. You know, I've got a black jacket that I wear, I can wear in autumn and that. So I, I thought it would look good with that. Anyway, without further ado, as they say, I'll go and try it on. Right, so this is the first top. Um, you could wear it tucked in or with a French tuck. I can never do that or, or out. I've just got it out at the moment. It's very comfortable. And it's quite lightweight, it's really nice. And I thought it'd look nice with black trousers as well as white. And I've got some green trousers, I'm going to try it with those. Because obviously I'm keeping this because I've already worn it, as I said. And this was £45. It is quite expensive, I know. And somebody asked me if I had a budget for clothes. Well, I don't. Um, I just sort of buy what I can afford when I, I, want, when I need something. But I do try and show a varied, I try and not show the too pricey ones, um, you know, like the designer type, but I do try and show a varied amount. Um, I know a lot of people, well, quite a few don't like um, me showing the clothes from China, but you know, this was made in China. Most of the Marks and Spencer clothes that I'm trying on were made in China. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. So anyway, um, I like this. I find it comfortable the only thing i would say is i think it's going to need a lot more ironing than the other one the blue one um but i do like this and as i say it's 45 pound let me know what you think you see i'm a lot more comfortable in trousers and tops you know i do like a dress now and again but i am more comfortable i feel they suit my figure better right moving on to the next one let's see what we've got next I'll put this one to the back because talking about next, 
this is a next tarp. Well, I'll show it you now. This is a next tarp that I forgot to show you in the last next haul clothing haul. Um, this, I'm not sure how much. Do you know, it's annoying with next because they never put the price on. I'll check what the price is and I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is lined. It's quite nice, whether it might be warm. It's a Love and Roses top from uh, Next. I just forgot to show it you when I did the next haul. So I might as well try this on next, mind. <laughs> okay, see you in a minute. Right, well, this is the blouse from Next. It's ever so pretty, isn't it? It's like, it's lined and it's, um, it's like pink and orange. It's lovely colours. Um, it's £35 this, I've just checked just checked on the website so keep an eye out for it in the sale if you like it quite comfortable to wear quite roomy um i ordered a size 18 the other top i bought was an 18 i don't know whether i mentioned that um but i quite like this that was alexa <coughs> alexa's got a message for me it drives me mad when it um dings like that What's the message, Alexa? Alexa, have you got a notification? One new notification from Amazon Shopping. A shipment including epoxy is due to arrive today. Right, I don't have no idea what that is. It must be something my son's ordered. Right, it'll stop dinging now. <laughs> he drives me mad. I keep thinking somebody's at the door. <laughs> anyway, I digress again. So... What do you think about this? I think it's nice. Um, I probably will be sending this back because I'm conscious of sales starting soon. So um, I don't really want to, uh, and I don't want to spend that amount of money at the moment, but it is really nice. I do really like it. And I love the, I love this pink and orange together. I don't know that you can see. It's nice, I like the neckline. It's got like a little bit of a ruffle here, can you see? Right, let's look what the next one is. Now, all the rest are Marks and Spencers. Right, this is just a little uh, T-shirt. Now, I don't, I'd ordered the T-shirt, and then uh, I don't know if you follow Maria Crocker. Well, she showed this with a pair of, um, like, a beige colour linen -y shorts. They looked amazing, so I've ordered the shorts. Well, I've got the shorts, but I thought I won't show it. I don't want to copy her outfit too much. But I, I go up a size in these T-shirts, so this is a 20, because I don't like them clingy. Um, and I'm never too sure whether they're going to be clingy. Uh, so this is a 20. I haven't tried it on yet, so I, I don't know what it's like. So here goes. Right, so this is like... Um, it, it's like a fine, I think it is polyester, but it does feel like cotton. Um, just let me check. This was made in Bangladesh. It doesn't actually say what the fabric is. Um, anyway, this um, is only £7.50. So I think this is nice for with, you know, a summer top with, the, it looked lovely with the shorts. Check Maria's, um, if you go across to her channel, you see it with some lovely shorts. Um, so I probably could have got an 18 in this actually. I just don't like it, you know, when they're tight around here, because that's where I carry my weight, which I'm desperately trying to lose, but not doing very well. So, so anyway, for £7.50, I think this is a good buy. There we are, there's Mabel wandering around. Hello darling, have you just, oh, you've got a dirty mouth. What have you been doing? She's obviously been digging in the garden. Oh dear, don't. I don't want your muddy paws on my wet jeans, on my white jeans. <laughs> right, so moving on to the next one. Sorry, I'm not. Right, the next one I, I sized up in this. This is a size 20. Uh, I just think these t-shirts are useful, these little vests under, if you've got a blouse, under a blouse. Um, and this was £8.50. So that's a good price. It's like, um, can you see, it's got a little bit of a ribbon. I love this colour. Right, let's go and try this right, one on. in that last one, I think I might downsize in that and get an 18. Definitely need the 20 in this one because of my midriff bulge. 
um but I, I probably would wear this under a blouse i do think the handy these and this was seven pound fifty so i think these are quite a nice buy you know they're not a bad fit a little bit clingy around here i need to do some sit-ups or something but i have got hula hoop probably showing it yet i've got another team haul coming on and i bought a hula hoop in it I think I'm getting addicted to that website. <laughs> I've, I mean, I, I was gifted those items and I've got another lot that's gifted, but then I've placed another order myself. I can't come off it looking at it. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you that in another video. But as you see, I have got the bulges here. Right, what shall we do next? Let's do this one. This is another one of the little... Uh, cheap tops that are very good this is uh what's this nine pound fifty nine pound fifty they good value aren't they and i like that sleeve length anyway i'll, tr I'll try this one on see you in a minute right this is pretty it's like got a little orange spot on it i think they had these in various designs um I think it's perfect if you haven't got a midriff bulge like me. If you haven't got the midriff bulge, can you see? But if you haven't got that, I think it's ideal for £9.50. I like the length of the sleeves. I mean, I won't be keeping this because I'm too conscious uh, of this. Although I need to get rid of it. That's the answer, isn't it? That's the answer, folks. Get rid of it. Instead of moaning about it all the time like I do. Anyway, it's a nice top. Not for me, but it's a nice top. And it feels quite fresh. It's, it does feel a little bit like a pyjama top. Is that just me? But really nice. Feels nice for £9.50. I don't know what it'll wash like. But anyway, I do think this is a good buy. It, but not for me. <laughs> right, so this is the next one. And I've just realised, I think it's the same as the blue one that I had on at the beginning, you know, that I wore at the beginning of the video. Uh, this is £45. It's a lovely colour. The lovely colours, aren't they? And this is an 18. Right, so I'll just go and try this on for you. Actually, it's not the same pattern. I thought it was. It's similar. And this is like in... Like a cerise pink, pale pink and white, like floral with the, um, it's got like the V uh, is in the pink as well. So as I say, I've got it paired with my white Marks and Spencer's jeans. So what do you think of this? This is £45. It's quite a price, isn't it? You know, prices are going sky high aren't they <sighs> everything seems to be going up doesn't it anyway i just thought i'd let you see them i mean i presume mns will be starting their sale soon usually sort of in july isn't it so 45 pound what do you think it's a nice length the flowers have stayed nice can you see them i'll show you them close up after I'm really pleased with them. And thank you to everybody who told me that the purple ones are buddlier. It has grown like mad, that bush. Somebody said they can get out of control. I think it's got out of control. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the last one. Which is this orange and white one. It's like a tunic style. And this is £39.50. So it's a little bit cheaper than these. I'm just trying to, I'll have a look what the fabric is. And I'll get back to you with it on. Well, I really like this, but I won't be keeping it. It's a shame because I love the colours and everything. But look how creased it is. As someone who hates ironing, this is not for me. But it's a shame because I love the colours. It feels lovely and cool. You know, it'd be nice to go out on a summer's evening in it. But as I say, I hate ironing. I do have to do it, but I rather think this is going to be difficult to iron because it, it, it's it got quite a lot of creases in already. But isn't it a lovely colour? I quite like this style of neckline. 
it's edged in cream it's like orange it's like orange and cream or orange and white with flowers on and then it's edged edged in cream as you can see so that's the final one so let me know what you think you let me know what's your favorite um I think my favourite is probably the one that I, I'm, I'm definitely keeping that I've already worn. Um, I do like this, but I don't think I get much wear out of it. It's very creased here, um, so I wouldn't wear it, I know. Because every time you get it out of your wardrobe, it's going to be creased. It's a shame because it's really nice if it was a better fabric. It feels sort of crepey. Right, so that's my little Marks and Spencers haul with a surprise visit from a next, a next top. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the draw. Do you remember the three dresses that I said I'd, I'd give to some people, anybody who wanted them, um, from the Ratita haul? Right, I'm going to do the draw now at the end of the video. I'll just change this top and I'll get back to you in a minute. Right. <laughs> just have a bit of a mishap because i've got like um a tripod there with a bit of a light above it and betsy's just laid on the cable and pulled it all over oh that's mabel barking outside it's pandemonium this morning right i've got the um filter up for uh the keyword and the keyword i've put in is the denim dress so i'm going to continue And pick a winner right the winners come up as someone called angela she said i'd love the denim dress please i'd take the bottom frill off for me um so angela congratulations you've won the denim dress so if you just send me a, a message to um my um my email which is tina's talk time at gmail.com it, it, it's in the description box um i'll get the denim dress posted to you Right, now for the purple dress. I don't think there was as many people was interested in that. So here we go again. Put the YouTube link in. And it says pick a winner. And the winner is Jane Leavers. So if Jane Leavers wants the purple dress, I'm not too sure whether you actually wanted it, Jane. Um, if you're not, if you don't want it, then I'll um, I'll draw it again. Uh, but you have mentioned purple dress in your comment. So Jane, if you do want that dress, just uh, send me, uh, just let me know one way or the other, and um, send me uh, your details in into my email address, which I've said before. I'll put it all in the description box right so now we're going to the the red dress i'm gonna to have to go to a different site it said that i've done i've only had, i've had my allowance for today right i'm sorry there's been a delay i've had to go on to a different site to pick the comment because they said I'd, I'd used up my comments for the day. You must only be able to do so many. So I've gone onto a different site and I, I'm just going to pick it now. Pick randomly. Right, the name's Anne Baker. Anne Baker, um, red dress. So Anne, um, if you just, um, if you still want the dress, if you just put um, your name and address in my email, um, I'll get it sent to you. I'm sorry about the delays with this. I'm going to have to um, sort a different way. The first time I did it, you know, I didn't know you could go on these random comment pickers. And I wrote everybody's name down. <laughs> it took me ages. I wrote everybody's name down. I think there were about 80. And cut them all up and put them like in a drawer and pulled one out. <laughs> and then somebody told me that you could just do it online. But they must have um, a ceiling for how many you can do in a day. Anyway, congratulations to all the winners. Um, if you just all get back to me, I'll have to play it back to see who the winners are and write it down. 
um if you all just send me your name and address in the comments box and put which dress it was because i might have forgotten okay so um i'm going to go now now if you've enjoyed this video um i'd love you to subscribe if you'd like to subscribe oh come here mabel come on are you coming no she wants she wants me to play with her, don't you? I'm not going outside. She wants me to go outside and play with her. Bets is asleep down here. Because Bets is 13, Mabel's 3. So there's a big difference. So anyway, um, I'll see you in my next video. Uh, I'm not sure whether... I'm going to do a cooking video. And I've got another Timu haul. So I'm not sure which I'm going to do first. And then, of course, it's a housewife's video on Friday. I don't think my update will be very good this week. And then we've got a special announcement for you from the housewives. So watch this space. Bye.